Het Slaans Hospitaal die heeft er hedenmiddag een sterilisatorapparaat in ontvangst genomen. De donatie die komt er van Petronas en TBN Prime Alert. Die is er ook aanwezig geweest bij de overdracht van dit apparaat. We spraken na afloop met de directeur, medisch directeur van het Slaans Hospitaal, dokter Nennen Pamdee, als ook de vertegenwoordiger van Petronas. I'm standing here with the CEO of Petronas BV. Um, uh, we got a donation. We asked for a donation and it is about a steam sterilizer of the brand Matachana and it is uh, uh, for the operating room of Slans Hospital to sterilize all the instruments that we use in the operating room. Yeah. And is this the first donation from Petronas to the hospital? No, it is the fourth time that we uh, got permission for our donation request. So this is the fourth time that Petronas is uh, with us to donate uh, very important um, equipment, essential equipment for the hospital. What were the other donations? Uh, we had some uh, hospital beds, patient monitors, uh, a whole system for the ICU for patient monitors and central monitoring, uh, other small equipments, and the biggest was uh, an ambulance. Mm. That was the first one. And this is the, s the second biggest one, the sterilizer. And with equipment like this, what will it mean for the hospital? It will, will mean that we have uh, enough capacity to sterilize uh, everything that is used in the operating room. And sterilization means that you make it free from bacteria, viruses, other microorganisms, because you don't want your patients to get infected. So everything that you work with has to be clean. Also the, the linen, uh, where the patients lie on, is also being sterilized in this uh, equipment. And that means that we uh, are uh, taking good care of hygiene and st uh, working st uh, in a sterile matter in the operating rooms. And how is that happening now, right now in this hospital? We have another, um, uh, another sterilizer, mm. but we want to have a backup. So the other one is good, still, but it will be out of uh, uh, li uh, the lifetime circle will end. So you have to have a backup. So before the other one gets down, we, wa we uh, want a new one. And that's why we have uh, requested for this. Yeah. When Petronas got the letter from the hospital, yes, uh, Petronas um, uh, uh, said that they will do it right away. Uh, yes, no questions about that. Uh, it's our philosophy to contribute to the society where we operate. And when we received the, the request from uh, Swans Hospital, there was no question. Let's get on with the project. Yeah. And why, uh, has, uh, why is Petronas looking for projects regarding hospitals? Again, our corporate philosophy, right, we tend to focus more on healthcare mm -hmm. and education because that's core to our, our, um, our philosophy back home in Malaysia. Right. Uh, we would like to contribute to the community um, and the most, uh, I believe the most effective way is to healthcare and the other one is education. Yes. And what, what are the costs? If I'm not mistaken, this is about 40,000 US 40, dollars. 40,000 US dollars. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The accessories and also yeah, yes. the installations. Installation, yeah. training, uh, different parts that are needed. All together, it's like 40,500 uh, uh, US dollars, yes. And that won't be the last donation to the hospital? Um, we have a good collaboration uh, so far with, with Slans Hospital and we'll continue to do so in the years to come. Yeah. And Mrs. Nanan Pandey, does the hospital has a wish list? Oh yes, we have a wish list <laughs> and we already mentioned that we this is not the last donation request that we will do. Uh, we are praying for Petronas for uh, finding much more oil uh, offshore and they are very busy so uh, we know that they will be successful we pray together with them and um, we know that they will help us out if we ask them for help we have uh, established a very good relation we are friends we are we help each other out so uh, I have good faith in our collaboration for the future what can you tell the viewers about uh, Petronas in Suriname well, we have been here for almost 11 years, 
right? We uh, have a good uh, relationship with Statsoli, the host authority. Um, we currently are operating in five uh, exploration acreages offshore. Uh, we are also currently busy with our drilling campaign, which we hope will yield positive results uh, in order to um, establish our our footing here in Suriname for the long term. Yeah. And we see that the main focus in Suriname is now oil and gas. What will be the role of Petronas in that? We are a national oil company. We cover the whole spectrum of the oil and gas industry from exploration all the way to production and also um, uh, anything between, <laughs> I would say. Um, so oil and gas is our, our main core and we are looking for that here in Suriname. Yeah. And the oil and gas future looks bright for Suriname? Definitely. All right. um, we've made a couple of discoveries in the past, uh, not just us, but a few other companies also. All right, um, but then again, in, in the oil and gas industry, explosion is key, and that's what we continue to do in, in, uh, in the few years to come. Yeah. How is it going with the hospital right away? Because we're um, getting some bad news from other hospitals that it is um, not going too good to well with uh, the healthcare in Suriname. Yes, that is that is uh, right. Uh, the healthcare is um, yeah like we say it in crisis but we as a hospital we we are doing our thing and i think we are doing not too bad uh, yeah. regarding patient care we 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 we, we can manage um, for the personnel it is very hard uh, the wages are low that everybody knows that personnel is going away also in this hospital um, I have to mention that today we were waiting for the payment of the uh, state fund to pay the salaries as for now I don't think that it is yet in the bank account of the hospital so you know for an Easter weekend like this it is very hard and um, we have tried and asked uh, uh, for uh, that uh, the, 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 the payment will be uh, quickened, but we have to wait. Um, it is, it is, it is uh, hard for the people who are working in the healthcare, but they are still working uh, towards um, ailment of the patient, and that is very important. Every doctor, every nurse, um, every directory board is doing their best what they can and we improvise a lot uh, we have to mention as a hospital that we uh, don't have much uh, infections in the hospital due to uh, uh, hospital um, infections so I think we're doing reasonably good yeah. and has the union said anything about um, the uh, the personnel being not uh, being paid yet yes we are in communication with them and uh, uh, we understand each other because the payment from from our um, uh, our from the insurance companies is not in our hands mm. it is not the uh, not the the board that says we do, we won't pay if we had the money we would pay it, but mm. we worked for it we we uh, had patients we made them better they went home uh, and the insurance company has to pay for that, mm -hmm. and the payment is just late. Mm -hmm. And would you say, Mrs. Nenet Pandey, and that would be the last question, would you say that finance and the brain drain are now the biggest problem the hospital is facing? Yes, finance for everything, uh, for the salaries, for the, uh, the purchase of um, equipment, purchase of, of uh, daily needs, uh, like needles and everything. It's all is it is a problem yeah but we try to manage and the brain drain brain drain is also going on and uh, some a part of our nurses uh, team has left also yeah causing for big problems in the hospital itself it is it is a problem for the people who stay behind mm. they have to work harder um, uh, it, it is a, it, they they come from home thinking how they will work today and uh, how will how they will pass the day so 
it is it is harder for the people who stay behind yes <laughs>